Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming. Bio Mutant Next Gen is finally here for the PlayStation 5, for the Xbox Series X and S. And in today's video, I'm going to give you a full review of how much fun I had playing this game. So if you kind of forgot about Bio Mutant, get excited. We're going to be going over everything as well as the brand new features added with this brand new console update. Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started with the Bio Mutant Next Gen Review. Now, Bio Mutant was released back on May the 26th, 2021 for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and of course, PC. Now, my PC players, of course, they can go ultra deaf, right, and get that 4K popping, but for us, we had to wait until September the 6th, and after that day, for the Xbox Series X, S and for the PlayStation 5, we have a whole bunch of brand new details added into the game. So I decided to load this bad boy up and oh boy, did I have a whole lot of fun reminiscing and kicking some tail in Bio Mutant. Now, of course, when it comes to the release of this, we have a whole bunch of different modes that's going to be able for that special resolution and all of the different modes that come with this Bio Mutant next gen update. But we're gonna get into that a little bit later. Right now, we're gonna go over what exactly Bio Mutant is. Now, Bio Mutant is a pretty awesome game. When it starts off, it starts off like this. That's the trailer and that's what it looks like in game. This is a Kung Fu focused RPG action style type of game open world as well and it looks fantastic like i said when you first start off with bio mutant one of the new features that they added is for you to transfer your system state of course i'm on the playstation 5 so i am going to transfer my playstation 4 saves to the playstation 5 yep and then we're going to have some amazing fun so first things first you can do all of that loveliness so i hopped in with my old character and took it to this lovely village. Now, here's the thing. I'm just gonna be randomly playing and showing you some fantastic things just in case you're on the fence about Bio Mutant, which you shouldn't. It's a fantastic game. Did a review back in the day, and now this next gen review should fully have you convinced that, yeah, it's a good one, and you should definitely pick it up if you don't have it. The open world have plenty of different lovely missions for you to conquer, and villages to take over you know that's totally up to you we have plenty of mutations that you can rock as you can see right here so yeah it's a whole lot of fun and a whole lot of different things that you can do to kind of make your character your own now when it comes to the different upgrades there are plenty in this game so much to do so much to collect that you're gonna have an amazing time not only on top of that, we have a whole bunch of different crafting things that we can get into. What I mean by crafting things, I mean crafting weapons, crafting armor as well. We have Wu type of Kung Fu that's added into the game. And you know what? It's a whole lot of kicking tail good time. Here we are at our lovely crafting screen. We can craft different heads, we can craft different arm pieces, like I said, weapons, you know, guns, melee weapons, as well as chest pieces too. So for everybody out there that really didn't know exactly what Bio Mutant was about, it is a whole lot of customization once you get inside the game. So as far as everything is concerned on the game side of things, like I said, I did a review back in the day and it was a good game. It still is holding true with the next gen update, except for everything just looks a whole lot better. The combat is fantastic. It can be challenging at times. So for everybody thinking that it's just, you know, all cute and fluffy and looks good, and that's just it. No, it can be very challenging when it comes to Bio Mutant. So look, if you're on the fence about getting this game and you think that is written out not really your style, I would highly suggest that you rethink that because when it comes to the combat, it's definitely is challenging. Here I am inside the game against this 
Hufflemon. Oh yeah, by the way, it's full narration throughout the whole game. So it's going to keep you entertained, you know? So yeah, all in all, it's a pretty fantastic game. And like I said, I've, I've done a lot of reviews on this from before. And this is my second one. So we got done with the, the gameplay. It's, it's amazing. It's fantastic. We already know about that. But what about the quality? of the next gen update what's in it well, that's what we're going to go over right now we have three different sets of different 4k resolution modes that's going to be available for us for the playstation 5 xbox series x and s so let's go over them first off we have the quality mode now the quality mode is going to be a 4k resolution with 30 frames per second for the playstation 5 and for the Xbox Series X. Now, for the Xbox Series S, which I personally have, and it's a fantastic system, it's gonna come in at 1440p resolution with the 30 frames per second. Not bad, not bad at all. Now, next up, we have performance mode. Now, for performance mode, we have 1440p resolution with 60 frames per second locked in on the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X is going to be at 1440p resolution with 60 frames per second lock on the Xbox Series S. And then, last but not least, we have the mode with a lot of people should be playing on if you have everything set up right, which is the Quality Unleashed. Now this one is going to be 40 plus frames per second, 40 plus, with the average of 50 to 60 frames per second all the way up to a 4K resolution, and that's gonna be on the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. And for the Xbox Series S, it's going to be 40 frames per second with quality unleashed mode, averaging up to 50 to 60 frames per second, and up to 1440p. So a little 2K resolution right there with the quality unleashed for the Xbox Series S, and 4K with almost up to 60 frames per second which is pretty fantastic you know it's up to the developers to add these things into the game so as far as the next gen version of this lovely game called bio mutant it is looking absolutely fantastic it looks like the trailer when you play the game trust me when i had my playstation 4 version it did not look this good so thank you to terminals for giving me that lovely code so i can play this on the playstation 5 and uh yeah it is a whole lot of fun so in my opinion it is just like it was before except for it just looks a whole lot better and it runs a whole lot smoother and hey i am not complaining about that but for right now that's pretty much going for the video i hope you truly enjoyed it as always if you are new to the channel how you doing and welcome don't forget to subscribe right here at carpo gaming upload a wide variety of videos range from updates tips and tricks guys and news and a whole lot more so hopefully you enjoyed this video once again thank you everybody for all your love and support and as always i'll be seeing y'all in the next one later